tell y'all something. And I know that it wouldn't be nice of me to do this, but for those of you all who have seen that show on Cartoon Network Adventure Time, The Flame Princess, I colored a picture of me putting her out with water, me with the hose. She's dangerous. This is me with the hose. And this is what I said. This is what she said. She said, stop. It is hurting me. Then I said, no, you're too dangerous. Before that, I said, no, it's, I said, no, you're too dangerous. For those of you little kids who are watching, fire is dangerous. And y'all, when I grow up, I want to be an employed and hardcore and tough firefighter. And yes, if I were in that show, I would put her out with water. <laughs> She's very dangerous. She's very dangerous. I would put her out with water. She's very dangerous. Fire is very dangerous. But water... Um, fire stands no chance against water. Water stands a chance against fire, because it can put it out, but fire cannot stand a chance against water. On the Super Bowl, when the Broncos lost to the Seattle Hawks, I blew out all the candles, even though it got me yelled at, almost got me in trouble. I blew out every last candle because, um, fire's dangerous. The only time fire can be used is when people are cooking things or they have a fireplace and they want to make it warm. Or for Amish people, when there are no lights in their house, so they use candles, or grab a torch and light it on fire to see. But I would put her out with the hose, and I would put her out good. <laughs> and if she kept telling me to stop, I would not care. She's very dangerous. She's very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. It's just like in that movie, X-Men The Last Stand, when those people who were in the army had guns to take away the mutant's power. And y'all, not gonna lie, those guys were tough. Those guys were tough in that movie. In that battle scene between them and the mutants, the mutants had them heavily outnumbered because they knew how skilled they were with their guns. <laughs> oh man, they knew how skilled they were. Those guys were heavily outnumbered when they invaded that island. They were heavily outnumbered. They had no superpowers. And they still kicked ass. It was so cool. I think about that scene all the time.
and um, if little kids are watching this, just say that an ass would be an animal, like a donkey, so that I don't get in trouble. But y'all, she was dangerous, and those mutants were dangerous. They wouldn't use their power for good. They would have went around killing people. Man, but those men didn't go down without a fight. They went down, but they didn't go down easily. I was on their side. <laughs> Y'all, the only person who should have superpowers He's up there. And the other person who sent that person to sacrifice his life for us so that we can have a chance to go up there even though two of the first human beings have committed sins. He had to die. He had to sacrifice himself for us so that we could at least have an opportunity to make it as good people. But y'all, not gonna lie, those guys were tough. Not the mutants, those guys. Because they were heavily outnumbered and they were still kicking ass. Alright y'all, have a nice day. Bye.